In this video, we're going to go ahead and import some basically just test firearms that we can go ahead and utilize for, well, setup. So this is going to be the process that you would use for your own. Uh, it's really kind of up to you. It, the plugin supports X and Y forward. Uh, there's not really anything you have to do special to them other than just add a couple sockets. So we're going to be going through all of that. Not in this video, but we're going to get everything imported. And this is the pack that I'm going to be using for well, this series just because it's free. So you guys can download and import it yourself. And because I have this project up on GitHub, uh, it's not going to cause any problems. Anyhow, I went ahead and imported that as such. And yeah, we are kind of done with that part. So next up, we do want to go ahead and get our mannequin basically set up. So because I'm using the third person example, it does come with its own mannequin. So it is. So also my core module comes with a mannequin. So it's kind of up to you as to what you want to use. If you're starting with a fresh project, for example, I already come with the required setup skeleton, basically. So let's go ahead and load that up. It's probably gonna have to do shaders for some weird reason. All right, there we go. So what I mean by that is it already has the virtual bone set up and likewise it has a blend mask again already, well, set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through setting up the skeleton kind of from scratch, but you do have the option of just using mine if you wish. So anyways, to begin, we need a couple virtual bones. Now we're gonna start with the one for firearm collision. So in my case, I just put it on IK hand root so we're going to right click, add a virtual bone, and again, it's going to go right onto IK hand root. And I'm going to name this one firearm collision, because that's just kind of what its dedicated role is. Next up, we can head down to the head bone. We want to add a virtual bone, and the target's going to be the head. We're going to call this one IK hand gun parent. Now this one is going to be the parent of the remaining two virtual bones. So I'll explain why in a future video when we start getting into the anim graph, but we're gonna right click, add another target or another virtual bone. And again, this one's also going to be on the head. Now this one's gonna be the IK handgun underscore ADS. So that's what this virtual bones responsibility is, is to handle the positions for where we need to move IK handgun when we want to aim. So again, we're going to right click again off the parent, add another virtual bone, and this one's going to be off of IK hand gun as the target. And this one's literally just going to be IK hand gun. That's all the naming. Let's go ahead and save. And now we want to set up the blend mask. So if we go to blend profiles, it already has a upper body or upper body, lower body split mask. However, you can see the virtual bones that we added don't have an actual you know, they don't have the blend mask value set. So we want to set the virtual bones to a value of one. Like so. And let's go ahead and just bump the neck up to one as well and save that. And now we have our, you know, our mannequin skeleton or whatever skeleton you're using ready to go. Basically, it just has those requirements for those virtual bones. And if you're not using firearm collision, you can go ahead and remove this virtual bone or not add it at all and just remove the no that's uh, throwing a warning from the anim graph itself. So that takes care of the actual mannequin setup. Now let's go ahead and start working on converting the third person mannequin, like the character, to basically utilize what we need. So to begin, let's go to our third person character blueprint like so. We have the mesh and we have the camera and whatnot. We don't want the camera boom, so we're just gonna drag the follow camera onto the mesh and remove the camera boom. Let's go ahead and empty out its transform and we want a camera socket. Now the camera socket, let's go ahead and head over to the skeleton again. Its responsibility is for positioning aiming. So it's basically a consistent offset point from the head bone. So even if you don't have your camera on there, such as if you're using, say, ALS, where it has its own camera actor and whatnot, 
uh, as long as you have position wise where that socket is, you are good to go. So we're going to right click off the head, add a socket, and S underscore camera is going to be the name. And I also want to change the preview mesh to the mannequin as it proceeds to lock up the project. There we go. So we're just going to you know, put it about eye level and just a tad in front of the face. Right, save that. Select the camera and the parent socket is going to be the camera. So you can see here the rotation is incorrect. So we need to rotate on the yaw by 90 and on the, I believe that would be the pitch by 90. So rotate it over, then rotate it down. So now the camera is facing right where we have well, our viewpoint. So that's what we want. Next up with the camera selected, let's go ahead and enable use pawn control rotation. So that way, you know, as we move our controller around, the camera actually follows with the controls, the controller's rotation rather than, you know, this direct position of the socket. Then I do want to go ahead and change this over to the actual mannequin. And we can change the NMBP to NMBP Manny. So now when we hit play, this is our guy, and you can see we have a problem though. Our character is rotating to our movement slash velocity. We want to correct that. So if we search for orient, you can see orient, rotation of movement. We do not want that. We want that to be false. So now when we hit play, it's not following the y'all, but it is going kind of just, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the one direction so we want this to use the yaw so likewise we search for yaw use controller rotation yaw which is the default it is enabled let's turn it back on and there we go we can now turn with our mannequin so we are going to replace all the animations and all that kind of stuff because i again in the skg sf core module we do have a complete set of locomotion that is eight way locomotion, just kind of pre set up to make a life, you know, our life a lot easier. So realistically, we can actually just swap over to this one here and we should be okay as a starting point. Let's see, that's already selected. Swap that over. Hit play. And you can see we have our eight way locomotion. Now ignore the upper body being in the A pose. That is just due to uh, what do you call it, not having any animation layer linked, so it's not running anything on the, basically from the pelvis and up, or not the pelvis, sorry, the lower spine bone and up. So that stuff we'll be doing in the next video. So we have pretty much our stuff set up for the most part. We have everything imported. We have our mannequin ready to go. We corrected the pawn from the changes that they did for the, uh, the doohickey, what do you call it? Third person sample project. So, yeah, there's uh, not much more to be said. I will see you in the next one.